Hello there guys, today is 18th of July 2017, I'm sitting here in a Volvo FH 460, I don't know what year model, but it's like right before the new generation uh, Volvos, so uh, <clears throat> this thing has got this um, they drive in like that. So yeah, this one has got these new um, generation seats here. Uh, <coughs> but still the like old uh, interior. So it's a really nice truck. It's 4.5 meters high and about almost 24 meters long. This is, by the way, the new TomTom Tom Go Professional 6200 GPS. And uh, it actually suggested a different road for me, but I'm gonna take this road because I know I can take this road. So uh, we'll see if it changes or whatever it does. Hello, TomTom. Tom. Oh, no, yeah, now it changes. Alright, it changed right away. It's pretty fast and it's also pretty good in tunnels, I think. I haven't tried it out in the city, but I'm um, definitely gonna try and do a video on the city. Hello, TomTom. Tom. What the hell? Hello, TomTom. Tom. What the f What the hell is going on now? strange three D view switching to three D view yes there we go all right so now I'm gonna go to um Villas Elfha here again well, I've made some videos of that already really tight reversing spot there which I'm going to show you guys hope you will enjoy now I don't like these uh, newer seats because uh, they're pretty dangerous man when you're lowering and heightening them it takes time until, until they work so you can like heighten and heighten and heighten and then all of a sudden it goes up so that happened to me the first time I drove this truck actually that's kind of a newbie, so I just tried heightening it, did work, I tried pushing, 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 I think it didn't touch here, and then like one, one minute later it got here and all of a sudden it started racing up and pushing against the steering wheel here underneath, so I couldn't steer, so I got really panicked. Um, but luckily I got it down again, otherwise you know you can always just push that uh, to change the steering wheel. So now, I uh, did yesterday, I have the new uh, GoPro Hero 5 session that I ordered. Now MediaMarkt had a summer sale on that. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I got it and it didn't have any battery when I got it. Now, I've seen reviews on, on that thing and somebody said, uh, if it has no battery, just charge it, of course. But seriously, batteries are not supposed to be empty especially not shipped to you in empty that's just so bad I'm scraping the roof there on the trees anyways um, because you know batteries if they are empty they get damaged if they're empty for a long time they, they get worse and so I charge it up to uh, I think uh, I I only got it up to like 45% and then yesterday I started recording, I tried to do a video of this GPS and I tried uh, doing a uh, trucking vlog video. <coughs> so um, yeah, but uh, I had a, uh, the refrigerator on in the truck, so it was buzzing in the background and then the session only recorded the buzzing sound so you couldn't hear me at all and it's a lot worse than this uh, GoPro Hero 5 Black that I have now this one actually 
does okay even though the buzzing sound is on you've seen videos on that truck with the buzzing sound and you said you had problems hearing hearing me but well in the video i did yesterday you couldn't hear me at all all you heard was that buzzing noise so the hero 5 session seems to have a lot more sensitive microphone you can probably shut that off in the settings but i'm not sure how it will work still um, and then also when I started recording the vlog, I drove a semi-trailer up to Leidinge, uh, north of Stockholm. Uh, then it ran out of battery. I had loaded up to 45%, but I could only record, I think it was less than 20 minutes from that. And that's like almost half battery. Those things are supposed to record for 1 hour and 30 minutes, I think, on those settings. So that, that battery was really bad. And also the beeping noise that it made, you know, those cameras, they, they beep like da -da -da -da, when you press buttons. That beeping noise sounded very strange, like the speaker was broken. And also the hatch that you um, open up to uh, load the, the thing and stuff. Um, I don't know if it's with the new model that you can remove it, that it's because that, but it's... Uh, was loose you know it didn't pop up like on the hero 4 session anyways uh, mostly because of the battery that's why I returned it today at MediaMarkt so now I return it and I'm pretty un uncertain if I'm gonna buy a new one I think I might just stick to this hero 5 black also because this hero 5 black I think it has better second-hand value later on I think I'm gonna leave GoPro and uh, start uh, next time I buy a new camera. I think I'm gonna buy some sort of uh, GoPro uh, copy brand that copies GoPro or something that's uh, or some other action camera brand that has video stabilization and 60 FPS 1080p because those, those two things are the most important for me. Wide angle 1080p 60 FPS with video stabilization. So it becomes stable. Earlier when I had the Hero 4 session it was very shaky as some of you guys may have remembered. But my first camera though if you wondered it was a Contour ROM 2 or ROM 1 and 3 I had I think three different ones. And that thing was, was very nice. A really nice camera but I had to mount it on the side of my head so it was not so good because it's you know it's like a like a pencil uh, or something, it's, it's long, you know. Still, I have one more motorcycle video from that trip I did south of Sweden because I recorded on the way home back to Stockholm, uh, then I went west of the Vettern Big Sea there, which was also really beautiful road there. So uh, Stay tuned for that. And if you guys were wondering, like, uh, my camping gear or anything about it, please tell me in the comments and I might do a video on that. And uh, later on by this month, 30 ter 31st of July, I have a motorcycle trip to Norway planned. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, definitely going to um, record it. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm gonna go with my mod with my uh, brother that has a like a chopper sort of with a Suzuki Suzuki 800. Really nice. So I'll I'm gonna be like their scout on my adventure bike because his friend also got a chopper bike. We have uh, how much is it? Five minutes left here, and then we'll do some reversing. Look, here's a skateboard park. This is Hagdalen. Usually spend a lot of time here as well because my girlfriend lives here. So we're still here in Stockholm, but uh, away from the city area of then, of course.
fudge is wrong with me. I'm still feeling sick or yeah. Tonight I slept over nine hours. Finally I got this nice nice uh, long night of sleep but still I'm feeling really tired. I have this like sort of headache uh, coughing uh, my throat is bad and I'm sweating really easily. I don't know, and I think I have the stomach problems. I think they are, it actually is uh, lactose. I don't know if it's like if you said lactose in, in English, but you know, milk and dairy products or whatever they call they have uh, this lactose, and I think I'm intolerant to that. But uh, also, most young people that have stomach problem, they think they're intolerant, but most of them are really not. So it's very hard to know. And I did the test before and it didn't show anything, so you know it's... But one thing I can say for certain, every time I drink milk or I eat ice cream or I take a butter or some sauce with lactose in it, I get a bad stomach the day after. It's like that every single time. trailer here and I'm gonna go with just truck down to uh, Willis Tumba where I live and I also have a um, small store there as well with the truck I don't think I'm gonna record that because as I said I'm feeling a little bit sick but uh, I am gonna I'm, I'm gonna do another video of the um, Tom Tom Go Then I'm done with that, so and then I'm gonna do the giveaways. I have two more of these devices to give away. So if you want to win yourself one, make sure you follow my Facebook page. I think I'm gonna do a video or I will just do a Facebook post. But I think yeah, I'm gonna do a video. But you won't be able to comment in YouTube, so you need to get yourself a Facebook account to be able to participate in the giveaway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make those in instructions pretty clear on the giveaway information later on. So now we're here, Stockholm Fair is in front of us, a Scandic hotel. Nice bus. So there's a place, really tight. Hope you learn something from this, maybe. Okay. What I do is I go in, try to go in. Uh, Really close here. Now, oh, I should have turned in a lot earlier. So now it's a bit harder. Crap. Yeah, now I'm too far away, you see. Pretty good. Tickle good. Need 
now it's about time to turn in. Remove the pressure. They seem to be lost. I'm gonna have to do it like this, I think. that no there we go you see now I'm basically done now this last bit is not so hard oh boy really exhausting to turn around the wheel so so much I'm gonna go back and open up the doors and back up that little last bit there. There's nothing special, really. Don't forget to uh, leave a like, comment if you wish, and check out the adverts to uh, support me and maybe you see something you like. Take care, guys. See ya.